Um, but Neil Warnock came in, uh, but Neil Warnock came in from a non-league club. Um, so his way of thinking, the way he's coaching was minded with my kid. Again, like Mickey Adams, give you a day off here, give you a day off here. Um, he was very um, friendly. Um, it, it wasn't like I called it, don't get me wrong, I called him a manager, I called him a boss, but he was very friendly and um, tried to get the best out of you at every point he could. Um, so literally, again, I, as soon as he came in, um, I, I was just scoring. I mean, hat tricks at Man City, um, scoring goals without thinking. Uh, still wasn't the, the finished article, but um, the players that I had around me, Paul Devlin, um, the players that I had around me at uh, Sheffield United at that time, we were just a team. We were a force to be reckoned with. But we always social together, go out together. Eccles or Road. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, 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 it was brilliant. It was nice. I mean, leaving there, I remember having the call from Blackburn um, to move. I went into um, Bramall Lane and uh, fans, but walked out into the, the stadium and I knew I was leaving. Um, again, I cried. Um, um, and then that morning I had to pack up my stuff and the car picked me up and I turned up at um, um, Blackburn. Yeah. When you talk about, you know, like work-life balance that we all have in our lives, would you say, would you, say you were the happiest in Sheffield? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you yeah you just brought something up. Yeah, very happy. I was absolutely ecstatic. Uh, very happy. Um, I knew the town. I knew the fans. I could walk about. Um, I, I I don't really care if everyone knows me or or speaks to me. But uh, coming from London, it's not always the same when you go up north. When you go up north, it's, it's a little bit more smiley and a little bit more happy, in a sense. Um, so knowing that I'm going to move to another city, which I don't know, Blackburn. Um, a bigger team, not a bigger team, sorry. Um, but a team where I feel like I can uh, go and kind of make my name and, and, and move forward, in a sense with the likes of the players that were there. Um, I had to make that move. I had to make that move. Um, but Sheffield United, I love. Always will do. I was I done. I cut, Sorry, not I coached. I was doing Liverpool, Sheffield, uh, start of the season. And I remember coming down out of the stands and uh, the whole stadium gave me a clap and a... a, a, and a, a a cheer. I didn't know that they would see me or I, I wasn't expecting it, but they all clapped me and, and um, gave me that um, presence and that, that love. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. So then we moved to Blackburn and Marcus, yeah. ben, Marcus Bent scores an extremely important goal versus Burnley. <laughs> so after, right. after that, you were surely adored. Um, yeah, yeah, going into um, the, the, the derby and scoring, uh, I think we won 2-0, uh, McMahon, uh, who came in shortly after, after me, scored after me, um, but to score that goal, I think I go down in Blackburn history, but I think I, I don't, listen, I don't want to say that I'm, I'm, that guy that goes down in Blackburn history, what I'm trying to say is that that season we had, we had a force of players, uh, manager, players, international players, playing in the championship, um, weren't in the premiership, and we, we achieved great things. Uh, but scoring against Burnley, and then against Preston, end of the season, um, I always 
can go up north with my head high and chin high because the Blackburn fans, um, I appreciate them and I, I think they appreciate me. So, Graeme Souness, um, I mean, you've had some fiery characters so far in a young career and you moved to probably the fieriest. Um, what was that experience like with him as a manager? Did you always get along with him? Graeme? Oh no, he's my he's my uh, best manager I've ever played under. He taught me how to be a basic footballer. He taught me how to be a striker. He taught taught me the basics. And first and foremost, he shook my hand when I didn't want to leave, um, and I hated him for it. Um, when he sold me to Ipswich, so he sold me to Ipswich after we got promoted. Uh, sorry, when Blackburn, Blackburn got promoted, he sold me to Ipswich. Um, I didn't want to go, but he said, we have to sell you. I, I think it was for £3 million. Um, but he shook my hand and, and explained to me that I'm ready to go on and do um, better things at, at a different club because they wanted to bring Andy Cole in at that point. Um, I hated him at that point. But I love him because he actually explained it to me, shook my hand, and um, didn't go. It, it, it wasn't. He didn't go behind my back. He. Um, we were. I'm not going to say friends, but he just explained it to me, and uh, rather than just being a, a manager that asks for. Um, I don't know, loyalty or anything like that. He just, he was just a guy that I literally got on with. And uh, I like that someone that wants to shake your hand. And I mean, again, someone that spits on your hand as a man. And a handshake in a sense. Um, so, yeah, I, I still speak to him now and then. Um, but he, he would be my best manager, definitely. So, obviously, like you just mentioned there, Andy Cole for Marcus Bent. Um, the move to Ipswich came along. Marcus Stewart. Um, I mean, yeah. I, me I remember Marcus from back in the day, and you guys, yeah. you guys were a formidable partnership. Um, yeah. You sort of picked up where you left off. Premiership Player of the Month. Was Ipswich a good time for you? Uh, yeah, I got Premiership Player of the Month. Marcus Stewart was a, a goal scorer, an absolute goal scorer. Uh, his touch, he, not so much pace, but. He knew where the ball was going, so I'd work off him, in a sense. Um, uh, Titus Bramble, um, Matt Holland, uh, Darren Ambrose, uh, Darren what, what, Bent. What was Ambrose like? Through. What was Ambrose like, Marcus? Ah, oh, formidable. Uh, he wasn't playing in the team when I first got there. He was coming through the academy at that point. What a player! Touch, skills. Darren Ambrose and Darren Bent, without those two together, you wouldn't have uh, the, the, the Darren Ambrose and Darren Bent. They just literally, best friends, best friends. They literally complemented each other. Um, without Darren Ambrose, Darren Bent wouldn't have gone to Charlton. So they both went to Charlton at one point, but Darren Bent wouldn't have gone to then, uh, I think it was, was it? not West Ham, Sunderland, for £20 million. I promise you now. Darren Ambrose. And then Darren Ambrose went to West, uh, Newcastle, sorry. Uh, both talented, brilliant, calm, off and on the pitch. Still talk to them now. Um, they are probably the, the youngest, most talented players that I've come up with and coming against in my career. Do you think Ambrose could have gone higher? Probably, yeah. I think so. I think so. Um, I mean, leaving Newcastle, he went from Newcastle to Charlton. Um, again, I don't want to speak for him, but sometimes mental health, sometimes, you know, reasons that I don't want to speak about. I don't know. I've not spoke to him about it, and I don't want to get into it. You'd have to speak to him about it. But a talented player, both-footed, skilled, quick, had it all. Um, 
Who knows? I don't know.